Okay, hi, my name's Jim Jenkinson, um, 42 or nearly. Um, I work for the YMCA, uh, it's an, a national charity that helps young people. And my job is to drive around the Midlands region, um, helping 16 YMCAs in that region do, do their work with uh, some vulnerable young people. Um, as far as my hip's concerned, um, I've had pain in my right hip for all oh, good maybe three years. Um, former rugby player, stopped playing rugby, began to run, um, doing only doing a half uh, the Great North Run once a year. But, um, used to build up my training over the summer, and in 2007 noted down that I had some right hip pain, um, and then kept on running and ignored it, as typical typical man. And then uh, in the last couple of years, I've been playing football once a week with a group of dads and my right hip would get very sore um, the day after that, after a gentle game of football, thought this can't be right. So I went to see the GP and she thought I'd got some uh, arthritis in my hip and uh, that was the case. Um, was, rec was referred to a consultant through the NHS who felt that I was a bit young to have um, a total hip operation but could give me some steroid injections and see how that went for the next few years I suppose. Um, then I was then an, um, in speaking to a physio friend she recommended that I um, consider being um, having a, the Birmingham hip operation. So um, I went back to my consultant and suggested this a, a potential well that was a candidate for a resurface and um, he was a bit iffy about that because his preference was for total hip operations but um, he did say if you, were, if you are going to have it done then make sure you go and have it done by Mr. McMinn. So, which I did. So, um, about four months ago, um, saw Mr. McMahon very quickly set up, um, very, very easy and convenient to do. And he confirmed that I was a good candidate for um, a resurface or a, a midsection um, hip replacement. And that's, well, I won't know that until, well, he won't know that until he actually sees the state of my hip when I'm operated on tomorrow. So, um, I'm less than 24 hours away from the operation. Um, and I'm still feeling okay. I, I know it'll be the, the right thing to do. Obviously being, being quite young as I am um, for this kind of, um, I guess, condition, then that, that concerns me a bit um, if there's more to come and in other parts of my body. But um, all that I've seen and heard about it um, by the sort of personal recommendation or seeing information that I've read on, on the website, I'm, I'm, I'm very much comforted by that and and other people have said that um, you know this this procedure could give me a whole new lease of life so I'm, I'm looking forward to that feeling um, and getting more active again um, I've got two young boys um, who want to kick the ball around with me especially now the World Cup's on so um, maybe come the next World Cup I'll be uh, I'll be kicking it as hard as I ever was okay then so your first exercises are to move your feet up and down so if you can just bring your feet up and down. Like that? Yeah. Just to get your circulation on the move. Brilliant. And then do some circles in one direction. Uh, hello again, uh, it's day one, um, so day after the operation, which uh, which went well. Um, I've had the the, re the Birmingham hip resurface, which is what I hoped I would have, and uh, wouldn't be the midsection, so pleased with that. Um, I've just had some physio. Um, move my leg around, done some exercises on the bed, um, just sort of just steady stuff really. Um, I'm, in a, I'm in a bit of pain, but um, I'm taking painkillers, um, but, it, but it's okay. And yeah, feeling, feeling pretty good, feeling tired. I didn't sleep very well last night, um, but I guess that's, that's to be expected. Um, wasn't in a huge amount of pain, just can't move around. You can't get, can't get particularly comfortable. Um, and um, you know, I've got these big attractive stockings on to keep the compression on my legs, stop any any clots and stuff, which, um, which is fine. But um, uh, had a had a, you have an epidural in your in your back um, to block the pain. So my leg was felt really weird. It was all numb, but that's all been taken out, taken out last night, and that's that's all all been fine. And I thought I'd be in a huge amount of pain following that, but the oral painkillers that I've had um, are. are are not only giving me um, what I would deem as a, as a low level amount of pain. So they score it 0 to 1, 0 to 3, and I, would, I haven't rated it higher than 1. Um, much to my surprise, I was up on the Zimmer frame taking a couple of steps 
about 20 minutes ago. So um, that's quite amazing. I didn't expect to do that. Your hands on your left leg are going to do the work. So push yourself up into standing. Put the right leg on the floor. Put it all the way down and take some weight on it. Okay, feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah. Lock your knee tight and then take a step with the other leg. Brilliant. Okay. And again, frame forward. Right leg halfway in. So yeah, um, I'm feeling pleased, a lot more relaxed. Feel as if um, you know, I'm on the, on the, uh, the beginnings of the road to recovery. I um, was quite apprehensive beforehand, um, but um, been really well looked after, um, and it's, you know it's really good to know that that I've just had the resurface, and um, hopefully um, in not too long a time I'll be back active again. Hi again, it's day two, um, which means it's Thursday, um, and I had a better night's sleep. Um, was really tired. I guess not having slept well on the first night of of the after the operation. Um, but so yeah, a bit more comfortable. Um, still a bit of an ache and um, soreness in my in my leg, um, but the wound is is healed up um, in terms of the scarring. They said that's all okay. Um, had a shower this morning. Um, walked across with the Zimmer frame um, with some help. Um, that was great. It was nice to get showered, and then I got, it was very warm in there, and I went a bit lightheaded. So, um, so I sat back down and uh, just had a bit of oxygen and a bit of sweet tea, and I, I'm, I'm better now. And then I, I've just, you may have seen, just walking up and down with it first with the Zimmer frame, and then onto crutches, um, and that seems to have gone well. So when you're ready, you can put your weight through it. Just have it come to the Yeah, good. Yeah, there we go. So a little step with your right, yeah. and then follow through yeah. with the left. Yeah. Okay, and again. It takes a bit of getting used to, it's a bit wobbly, but um, otherwise uh, it's okay. And um, each year you do feel as if there's gradually bits of progress being made, and I can move my leg more in terms of doing the exercises that are on the bed. And I can have my lunch sitting down in the chair um, later today. So it's, yeah, everything seems to be going okay um, and I feel as good as I can do. Uh, hi, it's uh, day three, which is the third day after the operation, um, Friday, um, and I'm doing okay, due to go home tomorrow. Um, everything seems to be going as, as they would re um, like to see. Um, this morning, um, I had a better, well, I had a better night's sleep, and then this morning got up and was on my crutches, walking up and down. Just, just feels nice to be able to move around and be able to do that. Just get the, get the, the parts moving. Um, and then um, after having had a shower, I was, um, as everybody is, you have an X-ray um, to check that the, um, the resurface is, um, is all okay, and it was. And um, then I had some ultrasound on my legs, so they check that there aren't any. Um, clots, um, DVTs um, in, in your legs and that was all clear. Um, so I've just had a physio session now um, showing me the last kind of set of exercises, um, one more on the bed and then standing um, exercises as well. So that kind of now sets me up for the next um, six weeks at home. So you take all that home, um, follow that through yeah I've had, a, I had some good advice from the physio um, in terms of how to kind of just manage being at home and, and the practical things about what kind of chairs to sit in and or not to sit in and getting in and out of cars and just just those practical things so yeah I feel I feel I feel well prepared and and if I have any questions or any issues then there's a number I can call um, and speak to the inpatient physiotherapy department so I've seen um, two or three different people here when I've been here and all been really helpful and very clear and um, take their time to explain things for you so yeah, and no, I feel, feel very happy about that. Um, and then I will have a review in six to eight, six to eight weeks' time um, to see, see how I'm doing. And, and hopefully by then I'll be walking um, a, a mile um, 
in a day, um, which will be in one go. So, um, which seems quite a, quite an a, um, achievement from sitting here, but uh, I'm sure it, I'm sure it can be done because the progress is is really quite noticeable. You do feel um, more mobile, um, sort of by each half day. Um, so yeah, feeling feeling okay. Um, the wound is healing up fine. So yeah, I don't. I, um, I'm coming home probably a day or two earlier than I thought it would, which is good news. So. And overall, you know, just been really very, very thorough, very, very well looked after um, from, from everybody's point of view. So very happy. Thank you. Great. It'd be good to get home. Um, hopefully my boys won't uh, come and give me a huge rugby tackle when they see me. Um, so, yes, it will be good to get home um, and watch the rest of the World Cup. Hopefully England will, will do something decent. That'll be nice. Make a change. Um, and, yeah, spend, spend the next few weeks uh, just getting better and better back at home um, with my family. Okay.